This year's soccer squad ended the season with a record of 20 wins, two defeats, and three ties, with nine players awarded all-conference honors, while three garnered All-America selections. And while the 2012 semifinal game disappointment may linger, this Laker group will be forever warmed by the memory of their final home game when Taylor Callen's penalty lifted Grand Valley past Minnesota State. It marked the 49th win in an unbeaten four-year span of 52 games on their Allendale Field for a team and a group that won't be forgotten soon or maybe ever at their school. Before the last, well, it was six minutes at the end of the game, um, we were up and we just had that feeling if we just keep this going, like we have this game, we're ending in regulation, and then all of a sudden they came back and scored those two goals. We had to go to overtime and try, and we had so many chances and none of them went in, so we're just like, come on, we gotta do this. When we went into the shootout, I had full confidence that we were going to be able to win and pull it off and, you know, even though not everyone made it and they saved a few, I never thought any differently. And then going to that penalty shootout and getting my shot saved and then Bert getting her shot saved, it was, it was scary, it was nerve wracking. It was very emotionally exhausting. Right as we knew we were going into penalties, Erica had talked to me about taking a penalty kick and I said that I was kind of nervous taking one since the entire team watched me take one in the game against Parkside. Um, people know that you don't switch penalty shots, you don't go to the other side. Um, and so when I went up to kick, I was nervous because I knew that the goalie was going that way so I thought I'd kick it a little bit harder than I usually would. Um, I think if I wouldn't have done that, it wouldn't have had the top spin on it and went in. Um, but when I saw her save it, my heart completely sank. I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to be the one that cost the season for everybody else. Um, but then I, I looked over at the ref and I said, "Wait, he has a thumbs up!" And <laughs> gave a little fist pump and ran back to my team. So, I mean, it was a really um, up and down emotion at that point. But I was so happy that it went in. When Taylor Callen put that ball in the back of the net, it was just immediate happiness. And then having the fans um, run onto the field and cheer with us was amazing. I mean, it's great to always get the support out there. When we were jumping around with each other, we started seeing all these guys around us who were like, what's happening? Everyone's like pushing and trying to like stay on their feet. So it was really exciting. It was a really, really good feeling and this, to see all the love and support that we got from GB Country. <laughs> to have that kind of support at our last home game was the best feeling I could have had. Everyone on this campus puts so much of their attention in us and it was just, I was very thankful and glad that I'd never lost a game on that field because not many people can say that about their college careers. And the, the character that our, t our kids had and showed um, going into overtime battling back, taking the game back in terms of momentum after, you know, playing such a great game tactically, uh, just had a tough last 10 minutes of game and then have the courage and commitment and conviction to go into penalties and, the, and to trust, you know, the work that we put in prior to that and to win it in, in penalties was just an, an, an awe-inspiring moment for me as a, as, a, as a coach and one of the best I've ever had.